The United States aircraft, which are the most secretive and fascinating, can be noticed by their incredibly fantastical nature. Sometimes they can be perceived as UFOs. Some of the inexplicable magic that people find fascinating about airplanes seems to stem from a subconscious desire to fly, to be able to perform unattainable actions. The feeling that you are capable of doing something that you are limited in causes internal emotional explosions, causing delight at the sight of airplanes that seem to have stepped out of the pages of science fiction movies. Although, for example, watching a Northrop B-2 Spirit take off or land, you may want to exclaim, wow, that's just incredible. As for the majesty with which the air envelops the world's largest airplane, the An-225 Maria, which was unfortunately destroyed by Russian representatives, it does evoke a sense of grandeur. However, if you think that the B-2 Spirit, An-225 Maria, or F-22 Raptor are the pinnacle of aircraft manufacturing and that nothing more fantastic exists, you are wrong. In this video, we will reveal to you three of the most obscure and fantastic American aircraft that almost resemble UFOs and have had virtually no contact with the ground. In November 2014, residents of the east coast of the United States and the southern regions of the United Kingdom were struck by unusual sounds in the atmosphere that resembled successive explosions or gunshots. Later, a video of these strange sounds was published, filmed by a London resident using her cell phone. However, the true sources of these unusual sounds remain unknown, and this has led to many hypotheses and versions aimed at explaining this mysterious phenomenon. One such theory is the possibility that these strange sounds were caused by the testing of a secret U.S. reconnaissance aircraft from the Aurora Project. Although the American authorities claim that no such aircraft exists, there is a plethora of evidence and witnesses claiming otherwise. This exceptional triangle-shaped flying machine, known as the TR-3B Black Manta, is capable of climbing to an altitude of 17 miles and traveling at a breathtaking speed of over 4,300 miles per hour. It's worth noting that this is one of the most secretive prototypes, about which there are various opinions and information, but there is still no unambiguous confirmed information. According to journalists, this machine is considered the successor to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance aircraft. The Blackbird, developed in 1964, was impressive for its incredible performance. It reached a speed of 2,200 miles per hour and a maximum flight altitude of 16 miles. It proved its effectiveness during the Vietnam War, where it was distinguished by outstanding achievements. Of particular note is that the SR-71 was the only aircraft that the Vietnamese enemy failed to shoot down. However, in 1998, the Drozd was decommissioned, and at that time the lack of a proper replacement was noticeable. For more than 50 years, no aircraft has been developed that can compete with its supersonic speed and reconnaissance capabilities. This problem raises doubts among aviation enthusiasts who do not believe that a suitable replacement has not been created. They are ready to do everything possible to find any evidence of the existence of an entirely new model of the aircraft. It is worth noting that some of them have had some success in this direction. For example, a detailed analysis of the U.S. budget revealed that only $2 to $3 billion had been spent on the mysterious Aurora project by the early 90s. And from the very beginning of the 90s, stories of unusual encounters with UFOs began to appear en masse. And one could ignore these stories if not for one interesting detail. Such UFOs were recorded only in the United States and Great Britain. They had a common feature, a black triangle, and left an unusual inversion trail in the air. Witnesses noted that this trail did not have a straight line, but was in the form of round emissions, similar to donuts on a string. The media also began to spread the impressive combat characteristics of this machine, and they simply went beyond imagination. Its flight speed exceeded the speed of sound by six times, and its altitude reached 24 miles. To date, there are no air defense systems on Earth that can cope with this machine. In February 1988, the Chinese newspaper Gong Ho published the first open investigation into the Aurora project. The article reported that the Americans were building a supersonic reconnaissance aircraft capable of flying at Mach 7 and climbing to an altitude of 47 miles. It was also said to be able to carry three crew members and use methane as fuel. In March 2006, investigative journalist Nick Cook shared an image of an inversion wake stretching from Nevada across the Atlantic Ocean. Soon after, off the southern coast of California, the geological organization's sensors recorded a series of sonic booms, 
and it was higher than the sound coming from the ground. After analyzing the records of the geological survey, a former NASA employee concluded that a sonic boom of such enormous force could have been caused by an airplane flying at supersonic speed at an altitude of 17 miles. The media also talked about the mysterious TR-3B Black Manta aircraft, which used anti-gravity technology. It may sound fantastic, but even in the days of Nazi Germany, along with work on atomic bombs and ballistic missiles, there was research in the field of anti-gravity. Perhaps even in 1945, the Americans captured not only Werner von Braun and Arthur Rudolph, who was known for creating the first American long-range ballistic missile, but also other scientists. The principle of the anti-gravity system is based on an ion engine, where a propellant, such as mercury, or an inert gas, passes through an ionizer, where it is split into positive and negative ions by high-energy electrons. These ions travel at supersonic speeds, and the plasma cloud around the aircraft creates an anti-gravity field. Although this may sound mysterious, there is currently no accurate data. The most recent events related to the TR-3B Black Manta occurred in September 2014. Social media was filled with reports of an unusual military aircraft flying over the state of Oregon. The images that were presented showed a triangle-shaped aircraft. However, the question of whether these images depicted a TR-3B Black Manta sparked lively debate. Videos and photos showed an unusual aircraft that looked similar to the semi-legendary TR-3B Black Manta. However, this is all that is known about this fantastic aircraft. Whether it exists at all is a question that remains open, but objectively speaking, there is a lot of evidence that confirms its existence and the possibility of flights. As for the next secret US project, even less is known about it than about the Aurora. However, there is a higher probability that this project exists based on numerous circumstances. In particular, on January 26, 2022, on the territory of the Area 51 base in the United States, observers from Planet Lab, a company that specializes in the development and manufacture of miniature CubeSats, noticed and recorded a mysterious aircraft. This aircraft was located near the Southern Hangar, a structure that was built about eight years ago at a certain distance from the base itself. Until now, there has been no special activity near this hangar. However, later Planet Lab imagery showed this unidentified triangular winged aircraft to the north of the hangar. Area 51 may be one of the most mysterious military facilities in the world. From the photos of this base, we can capture only a tiny part of all the activities that take place there. Several programs related to hypersonic aircraft and next-generation aircraft are actively working at Area 51. Several scientists have already suggested that this vehicle could be a prototype of a sixth-generation fighter jet. Its design is similar to the previously presented concepts that were revealed by the U.S. Armed Forces. Recently, on July 10th of this year, images of a military aircraft with an outline appeared on the social media page of the Lockheed Martin Aircraft Company. Among these silhouettes was the silhouette of a hitherto unknown fighter jet. There is a possibility that this is the same military aircraft that was spotted at Area 51. It could be a sixth-generation fighter aircraft being developed under the Next Generation Air Dominance or NGAD program. The NGAD project aims to create fighters that would be as resistant to air defense systems as possible. They must appear invisible to radar, exceed the speed of anti-aircraft missiles, and operate effectively in the non-fire zone. According to the image, the new fighter will have a tailless design to reduce radar footprint. It will have a glider wing shape and narrow nozzles. The engines are likely to be located in the fuselage. The transparent part of the cockpit indicates that the aircraft will be manned. However, it is also possible to use remote control systems. From the reports of Lockheed Martin, we know that the sixth generation fighter will have a pair of keels, and they are made folding. In some modes, they should lie in the appropriate niches on the wing. In the nose of the aircraft is the cockpit and equipment compartments. On the sides of it are developed engine nacelles. Air intakes are brought out on the upper side of the wing and covered from the radiation from below. Similarly made flat nozzles with louvered deflectors. The airplane has a pair of engines of unknown type. The NGAD program report states that the aircraft may be equipped with engines designated as V1, V2, and V3. One of the possible prospects may be the introduction of a rotary detonation engine, which is being actively researched in the United States and Russia. If these studies are successfully implemented, we can expect a significant improvement in the fuel efficiency of new engines, which in turn opens up the possibility of a significant increase in flight duration or the achievement of enormous speed and altitude, even up to 25 miles. 
Aiming for such altitudes can already be considered as the range of near space, and the speed of the aircraft will approach hypersonic. However, this will lead to a significant increase in load, which cannot exceed 8 degree. The pilot will simply not be able to withstand more than that. This situation may limit the piloting capabilities of the aircraft. To make the aircraft less dependent on the pilot and more functional, there is a possibility of introducing an unmanned version with artificial intelligence. However, it may also be possible to fly the aircraft with or without a pilot. A key aspect of the new aircraft is its low visibility. The design and contours of the aircraft are optimized to reduce the reflected radio signal, which reduces the likelihood of ground detection. An interesting solution is a folding keel. It can lie on the wing to reduce the effective scattering area or be raised to the operating position, which increases the flight and maneuvering characteristics of the aircraft. Finally, a third aircraft that may also be confused with UFOs is the Northrop Grumman X-47B, a conceptual unmanned combat drone specifically designed for use on aircraft carriers. It looks like a wide curved V without a traditional tail section, with the leading edge of the wing at a 55 degree angle and the trailing edge at a 35 degree angle. The drone's landing gear uses a three-piece rotor. X-47B flight control is provided by six working surfaces. The device itself consists of four parts made of composite materials and connected approximately in the middle of the body. The drone weighs 6.35 tons, has a maximum takeoff weight of 20.2 tons, a payload of 2 tons, and is powered by a Pratt & Whitney F100 220 turbojet engine with a thrust of 8 tons. The maximum speed is 615 miles per hour. The cruising speed is 332 miles per hour. The maximum range is 2400 miles and the maximum altitude is 7.5 miles. Since deck-based operation is a key requirement of the project, the X-47B has been given design features specific to aircraft carriers. Its 62-foot wing had folding consoles, which allowed for maneuverability in the limited space on the ship. In the raised position, the overall width of the aircraft was halved. The rear end of the aircraft was equipped with a brake eye designed to capture the aero finisher cable. On July 10, 2013, the X-47B launched from the Patuxent River and made the first ever landing of an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, on the deck of the George H.W. Bush aircraft carrier at sea. In August 2014, the U.S. Navy announced that it had integrated the X-47B into aircraft carriers alongside manned aircraft. The final stage of the flight test, which took place in May 2015, was to improve in-flight refueling in an automatic mode. The aircraft approached the fuel tanker and, using an infrared camera, found the fuel basket on its own, making the first ever aerial refueling of an unmanned vehicle. To illustrate the possibilities of using UAVs on an aircraft carrier, let's give the following example. A multi-purpose aviation group of the US Navy, in which an aircraft carrier with X-47B combat drones participates, is located off the coast of India and is capable of controlling Asia, Africa, and even performing reconnaissance missions over the Russian capital. It is worth noting that the grouping of ships will be outside the range of possible enemy weapons. The loss of a drone during combat operations is a financial loss that the U.S. Navy is willing to accept. After completion of the test program, two X-47B demonstrators, originally intended for display in museums, remained in operational condition and storage for future development. This concludes our review of the most secretive American aircraft in recent years. We hope you enjoyed this information. We would be happy to have you share your thoughts in the comments and let us know what other military aircraft or weapons you would like to learn more about. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new and exciting videos about various weapons.